It is like deja vu. City police are investigating not one, but two brazen attempts to steal an ATM. Welcome to WJZ News at 11. And to all of those of you who are streaming us tonight, I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Bitter. Now, thieves were unsuccessful this morning trying to take a machine first from a liquor store, then from a gas station. At this hour, we still don't know if those crimes are connected or not, or if they're connected to a slew of ATM thefts and attempted thefts. All of them, as you can see, happening over the last few weeks. WJZ is live. Annie Rose Ramos is at the Marathon gas station in East Baltimore. Targeted this morning. Annie Rose, what are the employees there saying? Vic and Rick, the gas station attendant, called the police after he noticed broken glass around this ATM, which has since been boarded up. He then checked their surveillance video, which showed that someone tried to take the machine sometime overnight. Now, we also spoke to another man who says last week on his drive home from work, he saw the thieves in action. Early in the morning, around 3.28, I was driving home on Eastern Avenue. Driving home in Baltimore and witnessing an ATM robbery. I saw a van just blasting through the window, like the front door of the, uh, the Walgreens. This man, who wishes to remain anonymous, says he saw thieves driving into a Walgreens off Eastern Avenue last Monday and taking the ATM. I saw three guys coming out through the front door. It's just one in a string of ATM robberies, some successful, some not. Nothing was stolen, thank God. Thomas Meyer works at the Marathon gas station in East Baltimore and called police Friday after noticing the ATM had been tampered with. The uh, ATM's bent, it's got some bent metal on it. Overnight, Suspects tried to take it, but in the end, left the machine behind. They were trying to bust it out with a pry bar and realize that there's this actual like big unit in there. In a separate incident Friday, suspects tried to take an ATM from a liquor store off Harford Road. Police believe they recovered the white Ford van used in this attempted robbery, along with a separate ATM inside. But the suspects got away. It's a product of the times, really. People are getting more and more desperate. City police say many of the vehicles used in these robberies are stolen making it harder to catch the suspects. But thanks to an initiative created last year focused on preventing robberies, ATM thefts have dropped. We were able to decrease 58 percent. Uh, this year we have 29 versus last year we had 70 for the whole year. And Vic, in terms of these two robberies here in the city, police say they are reviewing surveillance videos, but the attendant who works here says their cameras only film the store, not the customers, so they can't see who is coming to and from the ATM, whether that's to withdraw cash or try and steal the machine. Reporting live, I'm Amy Rose Ramos for WJZ.